Okay, there's a lot to this um, Egypt thing. You see, um, Lucifer is clearly a boy. But he tried to take on the role of Venus, um, the, the goddess. And the reason why a lot of times they're considered gods and goddesses is because they have something heavenly connected with them. Hers or his, uh, which is confusing for me, is the planet Venus. Well, the planet Venus is supposedly a girl, right? Because the goddess for it is a girl. But we know that Venus is Babylon, which is Lucifer. So if Venus is Lucifer, how can Venus be a boy and a girl? But that's what they want us to believe. Now that's what's going on. Um, they, the witches, when they, um, studied alchemy, they studied the planets too, um, because they believed, this is in astrology too, um, that you can, uh, have certain signs of certain planets and certain stars that cause you to be a certain way. Um, see, they worship the stars. Now, this is actually connected to chemistry. Because um, the planets, I believe the planets are connected to chemistry. Um, what what dies when, what, what turns when. Um, basically, how many days are in a year of each of the planets is very important information. Which the Egyptians had. Um, and they could predict that certain things were going to happen. Like certain chemical reactions would happen by the, the turning of the planets. And they, they said, like, if, if Mercury was in retrograde or whatever, don't do certain things. Because it would, like, stretch your, stretch your organs out or something. But um, they were worshipping, they were actually worshipping the planets when they did their chemistry, their alchemy. Um, it wasn't just the planets, it was the way the planets aligned with medicine. Um, so, like... Uh, it was like whether or not certain certain plants would work. They catalog they like cataloged it and they they figured out what plants would work as like painkillers and different things like that. But they assigned to they assigned these these uh planets to a pattern that would happen in your body and they gave them numbers on the periodic table of elements that weren't the planets at all, but they represent certain planets. And that's why, like, certain stones, that's why they use stones, is because, like, jade is supposed to help your kidneys or whatever. Um, they put medical, like, medical maps on this stuff, and they related it to the planets is what I believe. But um, it's, it's really, it's something scary because... Uh, there was a definite relationship, like, like, if you put this plant together with this substance, maybe, maybe natron or whatever, you'd have a certain reaction, and it would give off heat, or it would take in heat, um, but heat was a way to say, earth, um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, saying something got hot was like saying that it gave extra earths or something like that, and maybe if it was cold, it gave extra venuses. But uh, for certain er organs in your body, like like jade was supposed to treat your kidneys, I believe. Um, but uh, basically, all of chemistry was designed to treat the body. Um, but it's it's all like the uh, the way the Egyptians saw it. They saw it as giving you planets or taking away planets. Like if I gave you a planet Earth, I might heat I might heat up something. But if I gave you a planet Venus, I might cool it off. But uh, something like that. Um, and uh, the interesting part about it is um, it all seems to align with uh, what, they're, what they're saying is the 666 number. It, it all seems to align with that. And, and um, like random dice, randomly, randomly looking at all these numbers on the periodic table seems to give you like little packages of earth or little packages of venus um the the number of days per year that they go by like venus is 224 earth is 365 um 
I, I don't know the Saturn and the Jupiter ones, but I know that they kind of help to make like batteries and stuff like that. But um, anyway, they worshipped, they worshipped uh, death, but they they worshipped life too in a way, because they preserved things with chemistry, and they thought you could preserve the body forever, probably, um, because they had such uh, interesting charts. Um, but we as Christians are not supposed to not supposed to. Um, I won't say we're not supposed to study them, but we're not supposed to rely on them and we're not supposed to believe in them. Because the weird part about Venus, for instance, is Venus is a girl. Why would Lucifer, who is a boy, take on the role of Venus? And that's what he's done. Um, because, like, all the other planets supposedly are men. Um, but anyway, it would, would it not make more sense? I mean, I think this part is insane right here, is that Lucifer is a boy when he should be a girl. Now, to me, that is insanity. That is not wisdom, um, which he has. He has really good wisdom from his study of the stars and the body and all these things. But I think he's actually gone insane with his wisdom because he put a boy in the place of a girl. And he not only does that, but he says, he says somewhere else, Athena is a virgin and then Athena, somewhere else, he says Athena is not a virgin. Well, you can't have it both ways. Either she is or she isn't. And um, the weird part is, see, that's the type of insanity I think God is talking about when he says, I'll make you insane with your idols. Because you're not supposed to wor worship um, Tam Tamas, which is the, the uh, Egyptian calendar god. Um... So we know we're not supposed to worship Earth flying around because it's it's a calendar. It's a type of calendar. 365 days in a year, 224 days in a year. Those are Venus and Earth calendars. And you're not supposed to worship them. But there's more than that going on. And there's a lot of contradictions going around where if you really open your eyes and you look, you'll see that the as wise, and it is very wise, as wise as the satanic stuff is, it is... Um, it's, it's gibberish in certain ways because they make it gibberish. They've, they've made like these almost perfect, like statues and idols and calendars and astrology and, and chemistry and all this stuff they made and they're trying to hide it from everybody. Like we don't know. Um, but a lot of people know that they worship the calendar. A lot of people know that they knew all this about surgery and um chemistry and all that but uh so they don't really they don't really fool us so much but they think that they do um so they so this is what the witches have and why they think we're so dumb is because they think we don't know all this and they just kind of roll their eyes and go on with what they were doing because they think that that's the way to live